Today we're going to be talking about adjusting some of our settings on the MX-1. So we're on our main screen here. We're going to go to our settings menu. We've got our system settings. Uh, here is where you're going to find your, uh, your language, uh, currently set to English. We have a drop down menu and a selection of other languages. Uh, so you can make sure to use your native language or uh, choose a language that's comfortable to the people utilizing uh, the equipment. Uh, this is where you'll set your date and time. Just select the piece that you would like to edit, and then you can use the plus or minus arrows to, uh, to make those adjustments. You'll see the cursor just moves around there. Use the plus and minus arrows to, make, uh, uh, to get the time correct for you. Uh, currently, we're using our JW11 ink, so I've got the voltage set to 10 and the pulse width to 2.4. Uh, with the auto selected here, uh, that's going to automatically read the chip on the cartridge and make those adjustments. So if you are switching between uh, our water-based JW11 or one of our uh, popular solvent-based JS10 or JS12 inks, make sure your auto selected is uh, enabled. That way it will change the firing to the correct parameters for that particular ink. You'll also see that we have our sound enabled. So each time that the printer prints, it lets out an audible beep to allow you to know that the print cycle is finished for that particular print. On the very bottom here, we also have our calibrate. This takes us to a calibration for the screen. If for some reason anything gets out uh, to where you're having to touch outside of the uh, areas to, ca to, to enable the functions, come into the settings menu here, use the calibrate and get everything uh, adjusted back to, to normal. If you want to, if for whatever reason things are out of calibration, uh, you can always use the USB port on the side to connect a USB mouse, reboot the system, and that will give you full access to all of your buttons, and you can do the calibration at that point. We're going to click OK.